and welcome back and happy holidays here from Prep Recruiting Inside of PRI here at NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale. And we have a very special guest for this special time of the year, Royce LaFrance from yes, Tulane University and before that, a Helen Cox Cougar. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here with us today, no Royce. Well, I'm glad to be here. Royce, uh, just finished up a pretty good career. Yeah. 20 sacks, third all time at Tulane, which is pretty impressive. Uh, when you were going through the process coming out of Helen Cox, you were a middle linebacker. Right. You looked real, real close at North Texas. Right. Almost went there, yeah. but you swing over to Tulane. What was, what was the process for you in recruiting? Uh, the, the whole thing of recruiting is, you know, you know, you hear a lot from different recruiters, but Coach CJ and the staff, it just felt more family-like vibes, you know. So still closer to home, got a better education at Tulane, great education at Tulane. Great coaches, all NFL coaches, you know, they prepare you for the next level. So that was a no-brainer to me. Yeah. And part of that family feeling started with you in high school mm -hmm. at uh, Helen Cox, one of our very favorite people, Willie Brooks yes, was sir. the head coach there. Uh, talk about uh, the atmosphere that Coach Brooks, who started the program at Helen Cox, created for you that made the family <laughs> feeling of a football program so important. He's a great guy, man. He's just a mentor to every kid, you know. You know, there's a lot of kids that he's just a mentor to. You know, he helps us all out. Um, he stays on us. That's one thing about him, you know. He's, he's real high on discipline and being disciplined on, on, on the field and off the field. So he's a great guy. And I'm sure, you know, he's leaving Cox. I'm sure he's going to do well wherever he goes. Things didn't end up at Tulane like you wanted it to. You right. guys win a bowl game. New Orleans Bowl just a couple years ago. Right. And, uh, you know, Coach CJ and the staff are going to be uh, going to not be here next year. Retained. Right. There were some good memories you have at Tulane, and, and what's what's the the most important thing coming out of Tulane? Uh, the things that mean most important to you? Uh, the bond, the bond with the players and the coaches. You know that that'll last a lifetime. You know, uh, we made plays on the field. We got to the bowl game. We did we did a lot of things, but you know the bond is is unbreakable. And you made a transition going yeah. from high school to college. You were an inside linebacker. Yeah. Uh, at, at Helen Cox, and then you had to transition to the outside, becoming much more versatile, having right. to play with your hand in the dirt, yeah. or, or, or the, uh, the tile rubber <laughs> <laughs> in field turf, uh, and standing up on occasion. Talk about the transition and how different the game looks from the inside to playing on the edge. It actually helped me a lot from playing uh, inside linebacker in high school to playing D-line on the line, because I, I, know, I know more read and react uh, you know, I study the old line better. I, I know what, what plays are going to be ran in this certain formation, you know, for playing linebacker. So it kind of gave me a, a, like a cheat <laughs> to add D-line. So, you know, it helped me a lot. But uh, it, was, it was difficult coming from linebacker to D-line because, you know, I didn't have to be fighting with 300 pounders every play. But, you know, it worked out for the best. You know, you hit 20 sacks. Royce, and, and you ahead of guys like Julius Wansley and, and Desmond Moses, guys from Tulane who went up to the NFL and, right. and have succeeded. You're going to be going to camp. Uh, you, you're hoping your phone rings uh, sometime in April. But mm -hmm. uh, what do you feel like are your strengths? You, you can play outside linebacker. You, right. you worked at working your hips a little bit. What do you feel like are your strength, is your strengths going to camp? My versatility. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm a 260 guy that can play linebacker, play defensive end. I can put my hand in the ground. And I also played some three-tech this year. So. So I could do it all, but uh, worked on, like I said before we started, you know, worked on a couple of drops with Coach Lionel. You know, he prepared me to uh, cover and things, you know, been covering running backs this summer and doing seven on seven with the team. So he helped me a lot. So I think I can, I can do it. As you just brought up another name of somebody that I coached, Lionel, Lionel Washington. Washington. <laughs> I coached him when I was a special teams coach in Tulane in okay. 1982. Yeah. And uh, so you and I have been involved not only uh, with him, but also at Cox, Reggie Rogers, who I coached right. at Bonneville. Yeah. Talk about those two guys. You talked a little bit about Coach Washington, but talk about the, the impact those two guys had, not just on football, but mm -hmm. as people. They just have a, they just got a, a gift of, of reaching out to the kids. You know, everybody just, they just bond around those guys, you know. They're just people person, you know. But uh, Coach Speedy, man, that's that's my boy, you know. I call him every day. I go visit him every day. At, uh, on campus, but you know, he helped me a lot through this process too, of, of, of you know, going to the NFL. You know, he's, he's been giving me pointers and tips on you know what and what not to do. You know, things like that. So, 
he's helped me a lot. And Coach Rogers, you know, this is a cool guy. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> they have a guy from uh, from St. Aug, who uh, uh, LaFrance, is any relation there? A guy who's committed to, to, to Tulane next, next year? Yeah, my, my dad told me I'm, uh, that's my cousin, but I haven't met him personally. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, yeah. If you can talk to the, to the, the uh, young men and young ladies who are going through the process right now, mm -hmm. Royce, and you, if you had to go through it again, what is important in the recruiting process? What are you looking for? Is it about a coach? Is it about the education? Uh, is it about the location of the school? What is really important in the recruiting process? It depends on the person also. You know, uh, a lot of people don't care about the location, you know. But uh, I was a guy, you know, I cared about it a little bit, but, you know, wanted to see my family, uh, see me play. But um, education is also important. You know, it's like, what, 0.3% that makes it to the league? So that's always important. And uh, the, coach, the coaching staff, too, is also an, an, another important thing. You know, if you feel comfortable with those guys, then it's, you know it's a no-brainer. If you feel comfortable with all three of those, it's a no-brainer. That's absolutely right. Now let's mm -hmm. talk about what you're doing now yeah. uh, to prepare yourself for both <laughs> your near-term and your long-term future. Let's right. talk about near-term. Uh, what are you doing to prepare yourself? I'm actually I'm leaving January 4th to go train, for the, uh, get ready for pro day. Um, I'm waiting on my uh, senior bowl invite. so waiting on that and those things so you know to boost my draft stock so uh hopefully i'll be on plan on sundays next year and uh long term get my pr degree i have two more classes left finish those classes have my pr degree from tulane you know tulane degree takes you a long way yeah. now, something you just mentioned uh your degree how important was that and and how did uh how did tulane help you with that tulane uh the, my academic advisors are awesome they they're gonna they're gonna set you up for success they're gonna stay on you. They want you to. They want you to succeed. They're gonna make sure you get the right tutors. You know, they're gonna stay on you with your work. That's what helped me out. And and let's go back. Uh, uh, Renee talked a little bit about the process. If you had high school to do over again, yeah. uh, you know, we always look back. Now I'm not talking about regrets. I'm talking about doing right. things more perfectly. What would you do uh, to prepare yourself better for the college experience if you were just starting high school today? Just starting high school today with a college experience, um, it'll it'll definitely be uh, give full effort every play. That's what that's what every coach looks for full effort every play. You know, even if you do something wrong, you get full effort every play. You're gonna make a play. You know, if you if you're a good player, so do that, man. It takes you a long way, man. And, uh, work hard, work hard every every year you're in there. You know, as a freshman, you should work like you're a senior, like this is last your last year. So that's all. That's the only thing I could give to the to everyone. No, final minute here real quick uh, there's about 34 35 guys from the metro area right. every year on nfl rosters right what makes this area so fertile competitiveness man everyone's competitive you know you look at all the actually on our team is like uh, a lot of new orleans guys you, you should see uh those friday nights before game nights so when everybody's playing <laughs> each other you know they're, they're always you know talking trash to each other but man it's so competitive around here man and then everyone grows up with each other you know uh, goes to the same school together. It's, it's very competitive, and that's what helps us out. It makes us work harder. And that is Royce LaFrance from Tulane University getting ready for the upcoming draft and NFL uh, and poten NFL potential, uh, but also Helen Cox Cougar. He said something very important. Start preparing in your freshman year like yes. it's your senior year because it goes by too quick. Yes, Thank sir. you, Royce, for being here today. We're here at Nola Motorsports Park. Seasons greetings. Happy holiday. Merry Christmas to all of you. We'll be right back after this timeout. This is Prep Recruiting Insider, P-R-I.